Well, for me, it's just keeping the attention, like having fun all the time. And then as you go on, it'll get more uh, complicated with all of the boat handling and the tactics and everything like that, and it'll come together. And then looking up to someone, like I've obviously two great people to look up to in sailing, so wanting to be just like them and follow in their footsteps is a motivation for me. I believe the best thing my dad ever did for me was to take me along. He took me outdoors. I think it exposed me to what Mother, Mother Nature is all about. Took me duck hunting, took me sailing, took me ice boating. It was easy to, to tag along for me. And he went out of his way to make sure I was exposed to what he loved. And apparently that's worked down through the, the generation with uh, Harry Three and his son and uh, Hans uh, Melgus and his family and my daughter and her family. We're all involved with boats and sailing and, and or something to do with the sport. Yeah, I'm not sure Buddy really had a plan in mind to get us, you know, to love sailing, but uh, I think just being exposed to the sport and the social side of things at regattas and all the great people and all the great boats that you can sail on and, you know, you just get hooked. I mean, I think for us, it was the ability to jump on just about any kind of boat around the area and go sail, which was pretty awesome. And that kind of, you know, when you get on fast, fun boats, it really piques your interest at a young age. I mean, we sailed a lot with Buddy on various boats when we were young, and uh, that's kind of, you know, how we are with our kids, too, with Perry and her daughter Monroe. You know, we didn't really push racing on our kids at a young age at all. We kind of kept them away from that as much as possible. Let them get exposure by crewing for us and for other adults and, uh, you know, older kids, but not really push them into it until they were ready and wanted to do it. And I think, you know, that was pretty key. I mean, you have to love it enough to want to do it all the time. And you got to have some variety in it so that it's not always mundane and the same all the time. You know, it's the same with ski racing and with sailing. You know, with sailing, we have a lot of different great boats to sail with. You know, all the scow boats that we build, uh, our new Melgus 14. You know, Harry grew up sailing the open Bic, and uh, you know, now he's playing around on the Moth all the time and the A-class catamaran. There's just a lot of different variety, which makes it more fun, but it also, you know, improves your skill in a lot of different ways across the board. I mean, you improve your skill in one boat and you get that much better in another boat at the same time. Sailing the moth, there's a lot of, like, you can't move your body very much or else it'll affect the speed and just the way you're going. So then going into the e-scow when it's um, windy and shifty and kind of hectic and crazy, that helps because you practice focusing a ton on with the moth and then Going into the East Coast, easier. Uh, we did our Olympic effort at home, our way, without a lot of instruction. And because of that, uh, I think we were more attuned to what Mother Nature really is all about and how she affects you in either the the uh, the sea conditions, the clouds, weather, uh, you know. She, she, she made me look in front of my boat 